Welcome to Laguna Tools, my name is Jay Andrews and today we're going to talk about the Laguna Horizontal Bandsaw. Now of course this is a heavy duty machine, this is not your typical garage affair for someone that's doing hobby work, this is a serious production machine and today we'll walk you through all the features and benefits of this machine and show you how this machine can be a money maker in your shop. Now the horizontal bandsaw has two different conveyor belts. There is a main conveyor belt and this is the main feed for the bandsaw. It is a uh, carpeted or a belt fed system where your stock goes right here. There's a pressure roller that we'll talk about in a moment that keeps the pressure on your stock and a very heavy cross section of I-beam right here to go through and support the stock. This thing can take some great weight across it. Down here you'll see that it also has a return conveyor and the return conveyor speeds up the production of the machine. As you feed th uh, stock through on this end, it'll feed back from the other side with the help of an assistant and you can get fast production runs. Now as you feed your stock through the horizontal bandsaw, you'll want to control the product that you feed through here. And it's done through a couple of different devices right here. First of all, you have an in-feed pressure roller. There's also an accompanied out-feed pressure roller as well. And that makes sure that you have plenty of downward pressure on your stock to keep it flat and locked into the table so it can be fed evenly through the bandsaw and you can get precise cuts. This pressure roller is actually controlled pneumatically. And there's a device right here that'll actually lift this mechanism up to match the thickness of your stock. So if I'm running some four or six inch pieces through there, as your stock hits this bar right here, it trips this valve and you'll see that this thing lifts up very easily just through pneumatic pressure. It also has a downward pressure uh, through pneumatics and that'll hold it down to the table and keep it flat and feed it through the bandsaw stable. Now this machine is equipped with a pressure shoe and this pressure shoe keeps your stock uh, under tension. This is a spring loaded pressure shoe and it feeds it back and puts pressure against the fence and allows your stock to stay square to the uh, fence at all times. Now you'll notice that uh, this has a counter and the counter allows you to adjust it for the width of stock that you're feeding through. This is mounted to a heavy cast iron plate and you'll see two large spring apparatuses here. The spring apparatuses provide the pressure that you need to keep your stock firmly against the fence. The back side has a hinge point right here. The front one has a slide so that your stock can angle the shoe as it provides pressure and squares it up against the fence. Now let's go ahead and open up the cabinets and have a look inside the machine. As we swing the cabinet doors away, you're going to see that this machine has massive 28 inch wheels. These are all heavy cast iron wheels, massive bearings and you'll see that they even have a little zerk fitting in the middle so that you can properly lube and maintain your machine. This machine will take up to a two inch wide blade and currently I've got about an inch and a quarter blade on here but it'll handle a two inch wide blade which is wider than most of these saws in the industry. Now to open up the right side cabinet door, first we slide this little door up and it's a firm fit. The entire door will swing out of the way and this exposes the right side drive wheel and you'll notice that it has the same sort of wiper as we do on the other side and also you've got three very heavy duty belts that drive this wheel. So you've got plenty of power with the 30 horsepower, plenty of grip here with three large massive drive belts, again the wipers and the ceramic guides. Now here you can see that this machine has dual dust ports on it. There's one right here, one right here. These are both four inch dust ports and they evacuate the inside of the saw very well. Now you'll notice right now the blade is slack and we need to put tension on it before we can start and run the machine. And uh, as I mentioned, it's a hydraulically tensioned machine. I'm gonna step around back, I'll hit the hydraulic unit and you can watch as the blade uh, gets up to tension. Now let's have a look at a few of the features on the back side of the horizontal bandsaw. One of the first components that you come to is the hydraulic tensioning mechanism and this is an air over hydraulic mechanism. Now there's other bandsaws in the marketplace that look similar to this but they don't have the air over hydraulic system. They have a manual pump that you'd actually have to manually set it. This one you can go through and set your air line, pressure it up and you'll hear the pneumatic uh, system come online here with the hydraulics. It'll set the uh, blade tension with a twist of this valve and your blade, t your blade tension is properly maintained all the time. The Laguna Horizontal Bandsaw is equipped with a oil mist system for the blade and it does a couple of things. It keeps the blade clean and free of debris and it also extends the service life of the blade. And it's all set up on the back right here. You'll see that there's a reservoir up in the, on the top here that you keep a lightweight oil in. The oil spec is uh, called out in the owner's manual. 
And right down here is the valve, and you can see we have this little handle and a pressure gauge. And to turn that on, we simply will flip this. You can hear that, and that's the oil mist system that sprays over the blade. From this vantage point, you can really see just how heavy the framework is on the machine. And we'll have a look at the bottom side framework, but this is the framework for the head. And it's all a solid welded steel construction, all powder coated to make sure that you've got a durable machine. And that basically comes up here to this baby right here. And this is a 30 horsepower motor. This is a Siemens motor. And Siemens makes probably one of the absolute best motors in the industry. And at 30 horsepower, it provides plenty of power to turn these balanced wheels and give you the perfect cut every time. And we'll step back and have a look at the uh, two conveyors here. You'll see that this is the main feed conveyor, and the wheels on this are very, very large, and the I-beam section right here is very, very thick, and you can support some very, very heavy materials across this. You will also see that these adjuster bolts use Acme threads on them so that you've got precision control over the rollers, and these are bronze bushings that house those, so it's all very heavy-duty components. Let's have a look down here. This is the return conveyor, and as your material comes back through there, you can have a worker right here feed stock back through the machine to make this a seamless process. And you'll notice that this is also hydraulically driven. The hydraulic motor right here is fed through these lines that come from the hydraulic control unit. And this supplies plenty of power to drive your stock both through the saw blade and back to the operator. Now we mentioned that this bandsaw has a hydraulic system on it. The hydraulic reservoir is right here. And the fill cap is right here. You'll also notice that there's a small gauge right here that lets you uh, keep the level of hydraulic fluid in the machine correct at all times. Now, while we're standing down here, let's have a look. This is the raising and lowering mechanism, and you'll see that it has limit switches. This lets you know when the, uh, the uh, saw head is either too high or too low, and it'll come up and it'll contact these switches to limit the travel. Now, the feed tables on this are hydraulically controlled, and there's a flow control up on the front of the machine, and we'll show you that in just a moment when we start operating the machine. This is the pressure control for the machine, and this keeps the table not only at the right speeds, but also at the right torque range. This is kind of a Laguna exclusive on this machine and a standout feature. You'll see that the hydraulic lines come into this meter here, and this actually meters the flow and allows you to control the torque. And those come back through these lines right here and feed the motor on the back here. This hydraulic motor drives the entire table assembly. Thank you.